Hey, it's Kerry Garland, and I'm doing a new series of videos where I take my wife for coffee and we show you a little bit about what's going on in that part of the city. We call it Coffee in the City. I'm not going to show you everything about what's going on in that part of town. I just want to give you a peek at what that neighborhood's all about. Our first video is on Baldwin Park, one of the best neighborhoods in Orlando, and it's coming to you next. Okay, here we are in Baldwin Park. I decided to check out 906 Cafe. 906 Cafe is a French restaurant that's open for breakfast and lunch. Their menu includes various coffee drinks. Along with your coffee, you can have an omelet or various croissants, sandwiches, or salads. We ordered a couple of fruit croissants and a caramel mocha macchiato, whatever that is. I think we got the last apple and then a blueberry croissant. Doesn't that look good? Now that we've finished our treat, it's time to take a short walking tour of the Baldwin Park Village Center, which is the downtown area for the community. After that, we'll take a short driving tour to show you some of the homes in the community. The Village Center has a number of cafes, restaurants, shops, and services. There's Gators Dockside, a traditional sports bar that features wings, ribs, and seafoods. There are a number of architectural details within Baldwin Park, like this signature fountain at the end of Broad Street. Here we are overlooking Harbor Park and Lake Baldwin. Colibri Mexican restaurant. Galeria for steaks, chops, and burgers overlooking Lake Baldwin. The Osprey for seafood. Seato for sushi. Or enjoy craft beer at Tactical Brewing Company. Try Sunday brunch at Provisions and Buzz Company with its bottomless mimosas. This highly stylized plaza helps to dress out the back of the public supermarket. And there's another fountain.
next time we're out, we might check out Tutu Cafe for coffee. One of the things that impresses me about Baldwin Park is its park-like setting. There's green and water everywhere. In fact, there are 200 acres of parks and 250 acres of lakes within Baldwin Park. This is one of Baldwin Park's signature parks, which bisects part of Broad Street. This first set of homes is along Broad Street. What follows are a couple of townhome properties and a cute row of houses that are tucked behind a pocket park. And there you have it, a quick peek at Baldwin Park. Join me next time for Coffee in the City as I explore another great community around the Orlando area. For now, so long and take care.